Good day. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph. And today I'm here with the team. And so today we're actually ministering to three people. We've ministered to 10 and to another 10. And we're going to start now and minister to another 10 people. And so these names are from Monday's night. We're going to have to cut our live stream short because of a power outage. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is names that were on the list. And so I'm just going systematically through those names and getting the team uh, to minister to you. So with us tonight is myself and then there's Alisma and Ian, Charmaine and Kimberly. Uh, and Shannon's doing the camera work and we are here to minister God's word to you. And so I want to encourage you when you receive your word, write it down, pray about it, get instructions from the Lord so that you can fulfill what he has called you. Uh, to do when we minister uh, we follow uh, the protocol of 1 corinthians chapter 14 verse 3 where it says when you prophesy the word must edify exhort and comfort and so therefore we always set those boundaries for us when we minister uh, so um, you know my my trust is when you receive that word that this will be a word that comes from the very heart of the father and that's what we ask the lord we say to the lord lord please give us a now now word that's in your heart for for your people and then uh, the lord usually give us pictures and he gives us words and we can hear his voice and he gives us thoughts and an awareness of what he's doing and then from that then we minister the word of the lord to you so the first person i want to minister to today is carol and so carol the lord shows me a gate that was locked that the lord comes and he says because of your faithfulness and because of your cry out to me i'm bringing my mercy my grace but also my promotion into your life and i'm opening up this gate and i'm opening up a new opportunity where you felt restricted now you come under the hand of god as a supply of god and he's going to open up opportunities for you and i see the favor of god upon you now the scripture talks about jesus how the favor of god and the favor of man was upon him and that he matured and i feel that the lord say the same thing to you because of your faithfulness and because you were willing uh, to be obedient and to pass the test that you have been through the lord is putting his favor upon you and you'll experience the favor of god and the favor of men upon your life and so i believe that the lord says you don't have to fear you don't have to be fear about the future because he has a good hope and a good future for your life god bless you carol Carol, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a piece where there's uh, thorns and spikes in the road and you need to pass that road and you're stuck. You, you can't make the decision. You, you're not sure, oh, Lord, what do I need to do now? And the Father says, jump over it. And you're like, that's very really far. And the Father says, I know the ability that is in you. I've placed that ability inside of you. I want to stretch you. I want to stretch your ability. So what you thought is possible is not what is possible. You can go much further. And always remember that the Father is a loving Father. He's not going to rejoice when there's destruction in your life. But He knows what you can handle. It's a promise. He says, I won't give you what you cannot handle. Uh, so the Father puts on your plate what you can handle. But you need to trust Him with that. He will also give you the ability. He will also give you the resources that you need to fulfill the call and the task that the Lord gives you. So have faith, have courage, be blessed. I mean, Carol, um, sometimes you feel that, that you, you can't breathe and the, the area you feel suffocated. But God is going to, even though the area is small, even though the pressure is high, God is going to give you new breath. He's going to give you new life in this. He's going to boost you with, with this new freshness of oxygen. And you'll be able to breathe. You'll be able to, to work under pressure. You'll be able to think under pressure. And, and, and from this, you will be drawn. God is going to give you wisdom, usable wisdom that you will be able to use in this, this small area, in this pressure area, so that you do not get overwhelmed, and so that you can think clearly, and so that you can still operate under the anointing of Lord the Father, and in the Spirit, so that you can speak through the Spirit, and act through the Spirit, and not through overwhelming emotions. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Carol, God's hand is upon you. Uh, he's going to do tremendous things with your life. Uh, I see the Lord is taking blinkers off of you and you're just getting revelation after revelation from the Father in this day. Uh, so the next word is for Christy. Uh, Christy, um, just like that uh, Father in the prodigal son stood and he waited on his uh, son to come back. I see how there's a waiting in you uh, to wait for the thing that the Lord is doing, not only in your life, but also in your church, but also in your family, and also in the people around you. And you're like that father. 
uh, but the Lord says apart from waiting that I'm going to give you specific assignments and one of the assignments is just to come into my rest and not be busy but to be busy with the things that I've called you to do and I see you writing uh, um, I don't know if you like to teach and you like to write things but I see how you write uh, how you how you communicate how you pray how you intercede how you do art um, and, and you know you just there's just a lot of uh, goodness of God that's flowing out of your life and so the Lord is giving you this promise breakthrough is coming in your family breakthrough is coming in your church and so you stand in faith and I'm going to give you a breakthrough God bless you Okay, Christy, God says that you will overcome, that He is breaking off the cycle in your life, that you won't be going around in a circle. He is breaking that off and He is helping you to move on and go forward and and level up, that He is um, promoting you. That if you, if you, in school, if you can't pass a level or if you need to um, go, do, go do a grade, you'll just do that grade over and over and over again. And God said He is breaking that off, that you don't have to be in the same level anymore that you that he is um promoting you and you and and then it'll just go it'll be easier from that from then on so you won't have to stay in the same level in the same loop and then god's breaking that off god bless you christy next word is for jolene jolene god loves you god wants you to know that you are adored and that you are his daughter and that you have value um i just see how god is showing me that there's lots of decisions that you have to make but sometimes you take that decision and you make a hasty decision and you make it you give it a hasty answer without being um, educated without doing research about things or about, about praying over the circumstances I just see how God is showing me this magic eight ball and how you're like magic eight ball should I do this and then it says yes and then you ask another question and you're like uh, the, the ball says no God is saying you shouldn't make decisions like that. Come to me with decisions so that I can um, give you direction and I can give you guidance of where you need to go. You need to think about your decisions first and you need to, to do, uh, make good decisions so that God can be in your decision so that you can follow the path that God has got for you in your life. God loves you. Be blessed. Hi Jolene, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Purity, purity, purity. The Lord's working on you purity-wise. Now, if you do laundry with dirty water, even though you've got a good detergent, your your laundry still comes, your white linen comes out yellowish or creamish. It's not perfectly pure. Uh, and I feel the Lord says, I'm going to give you new wisdom. I'm going to give you new revelation, new tools to work with to enter a new state of purity where I'm just going to have you walk through this process a lot of times it's repentance that you're going to walk through that you are clear that you are guiltless before the lord and remember he paid the price for us so the price is not to focus on but the obedience and the acknowledgement to say lord i admit this thing was wrong i don't want it in my life take it away from me uh, i repent of it and then you'll see a lot of things in your life will uh, th the problem will go away but the symptoms as well. And it feels like you're stuck. You don't know why is this symptom coming back and back and back uh, time and time and again. But the Lord says it's because I'm going to walk through a process of purity with you. Be blessed, Jolene. I mean, the next word is for uh, yeah. Velana Bum. Um, God is giving you all these white containers. Um, and he's, he's, he's highlighting everything that you have done for him through your purity that he's putting inside of you, through the righteousness that you have because of Jesus and through all of that because you hate what God, what Jesus hates and you love what Jesus loves and through that this has really touched people around you just this has changed people around you especially your family members um, and he wants you to know that he wants you to have everything that flows inside of you overflow is overflowing in your family even though sometimes you think you know you're speaking you're saying you're being an example but nothing is changing God is changing God is working in all of those people's hearts and you just keep on being that purity carrier 
and that you know that that the joy carrier in your household and through this when you go back to all of these places god is going to give you new revelation he's going to show you treasures 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 that you are going to just excel with your spiritual growth be blessed Oh, even Lana, uh, the Lord is really saying to me that He's going to help you with your finances and the supply and the things that you need. And I just see new fin furniture, new clothes, just an upgrade. Also, just uh, new experiences, uh, not walking like the Israelites along the, the mountain, but entering into the promised land. And so the Lord says, uh, don't uh, lose your faith and your joy, but rise up in faith and have excitement and expectation for the good things that the Lord is going to do in your life. Uh, so now Maritz, um, I assume that you are Velana's husband. So Maritz, the Lord shows me a river. Uh, and this river is a beautiful river of the, the life of God and of the move of the Holy Spirit and of what God is doing. And uh, then I see you in a tree uh, and there's like a foofy slide or a, a rope that you can swing on and you can swing and then you can jump into the river. But now, you know, when you, when you go into that river, you, you kind of have to take a step of boldness because you can't like half hazardly go in there. You got to like properly like put your whole weight and momentum into it so that you can swing far enough so that you can make your little momla uh, kisi and then land into the water. Hey? And I just felt that that is what the Lord is going to help you to do so that you can jump full force into the kingdom of God and into his river and into what the Holy Spirit will do. And even as you do it, then I see many others also follow because you are a leader, you are an influencer. And when you go, just based on what that you go, they will trust you and they will also go. And so I felt that this uh, 2023 is a year of you, uh, for you to jump into that river. God bless you. Okay, Maritz, God showed me how you are a baby and how this baby is crawling and it sees all of the other babies are learning how to walk and to run and you're like wondering, why can't I go and run? But God says, no, I want to build up your strength in this particular um in this particular area um it's actually I th I, i'm pretty sure that it's it's like the longer a baby crawls the better and god says that i am i am building your strength here so once you can once you are able to stand or not stand just an example once you are able to do the next thing that you are extra strong and he's really built up your faith for you to accomplish that goal quicker god bless you Marit. our next word is for cheryl cheryl god loves you uh, God is showing me how you're like fishing and how you're like throwing in your line and you're standing and eventually you're like get frustrated because you're not catching any fish. But God is saying pull out your line and when you pull out your line God is putting out on your hook is putting like a like a worm that looks like the sign love. It's written love and then you throw in again and um, after like thrown in and immediately you start to catch fish and God is saying when you want to try when you want to f catch fish and when you want to be effective in catching fish do it with love because I've created love and I've created love to reach other people and with that you won't um, see the negative and you won't see the bad things in people but you'll see the love and you see the love that God has for other people as well you'll be able to see that and with that you'll be able to catch more fish God loves you. Be blessed. Hi Cheryl. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I don't know if you like cats, but I saw a picture of a cat where it loves to uh, touch its owner and walk with its owner. It's a, a very uh, interesting relationship and it's a very close um, relationship that the cat's got with the owner. And I feel that's what the Father says. This is the picture I want to give to you so that you can understand. I want you to come to me. I want to help you, I want to care for you, I want to be there for you, but I want to spend time with you. It's not just always work, 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 but there's a time where you need to sit down, where you can worship, where you can just listen to my voice, where you can just uh, talk to me, ask me questions, where you can have that relationship that is entering a next level, where you will feel so much loved and so much cared for. It really feels like you're the person that uh, you need to be close to somebody, uh, to touch them, to uh, spend time with them so that you can feel close to them, not just a distant relationship. So uh, the Lord says, this is, that's what I want to do with you. So hold on, your breakthrough is coming. Be blessed. Cheryl, so the next word is for Anita. Anita, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of goalposts where you just hit the 
goal, you, you score a goal uh, time and time and again. But the Lord says, if you do not have a goal, you cannot score a goal. It's impossible for a soccer team or a rugby team to, to get a goal if there's no uh, goal posts or a net where you can score. And the Lord says, I need you to make goals. You need to get to write your vision down. And I'm going to help you and I'm going to give you visions that you need to write down and say, okay, Lord, this is my goal for this year. In order for your drive to start to kick in, you're somebody that needs a bit of motivation. But once you get going, you, you're just like a car that's going downhill. And the Lord says, the start for you to your breakthrough is writing down those goals and get practical goals. But also allow your goals to have faith, that it needs faith in order to help you to grow and help you to expand in your faith with the Lord as well. Be blessed, Anita. Anita, uh, God shows me that you, um, you are sealed by Him, by His Holy Spirit. And when He places this red, beautiful seal on this envelope, you are this letter inside of this envelope. And He is the envelope and He's, he's covering you and He's protecting you. And whatever is inside of there is your story that you are living out. And you are living out His plan for your life. And you are living out His will for your life. And He's so proud of you. And through the seal of the Holy Spirit that seals this letter, the Holy Spirit moves right inside of your heart and you are just reflecting. You're reflecting what God wants you to reflect. You are reflecting light. You're reflecting love and kindness and so much purity. So God wants you to know that He has sealed you because you are His child and He loves you. And He wants you to understand and He wants you to go back into the identity that Christ has given you through Christ so that you can know that you are loved and so that you can know that you are His living letter and that you are making a difference for his kingdom here on earth. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Anita. Uh, God's hand is really upon you. And I really see like that, that hand of the Father on you. You know, yes. the hand is like the supply of God. He's going to really uh, meet every one of those needs that you have. And so uh, don't worry about it or don't fear. The yes. Lord knows what you need. All right, God bless you, Anita. Uh, next word is uh, uh, Sherry. Oh, Sherry. Uh, uh, Sherry, I see you just right there, Sherry S. It would be nice for me if you can just in the comments write to me also your last name. I don't actually like ministering to people if I don't actually know who it is we're ministering to. Uh, but I was praying for you and the Lord showed me this big mountain in front of you. And in the past you went on the right around the mountain and on the left. But this time you uh, again before this big obstacle in your life. And the Lord says this time... I'm putting people around you It could be like friends or family that really love you and they're going to take your hand and they're going to help you uh, to walk over that mountain. And in this process, the Lord is going to build a strength, a faith and a tenacity in you to face the obstacles in your life, to go over that mountain and to conquer and to win. So that when you ever get into that same situation again, then you will every time win and you'll every time know how to deal with it. And I felt that the Lord says, don't connect your life to your emotions or don't connect your emotions to your circumstances, but rather connect your emotions uh, to the Lord. And the Lord is the whole time speaking joy and peace over your life. And he says, keep your joy, keep your peace continually. Uh, don't, don't become a victim of your emotions. And I saw how there's just a tranquility that the Lord brought into your life and how you became victorious and how you were able to overcome this obstacle before you. The Lord loves you very much, Sherry. God bless you. Okay, Sherry, God shows me how he breathes his breath of life into you and you are just there and you are inhaling the breath of God and you are letting the breath fill like your lungs fully. I'm pretty sure we only use like, I don't know, I don't know how much a percentage of our lungs we use like in real life, but God shows me how you fill your whole lungs with the breath of God and you breathe it and you kind of hold it in a little bit and it just spreads all throughout your body. Um, God shows me how, God actually shows me, God actually is taking me to heaven and he shows me your book and in your book it says um, going to bloom here God says that you are going to bloom in the kingdom of God that you do not have a specific gifting that he has gifted you with many giftings to prophesy to pray in tongues to to um fill people up and to the holy to fill people up with the holy spirit god has given you many many giftings and that is really where you are going to bloom god bless you sherry 
Our next word is for Asha. Asha, God loves you. God is saying, my son, I see your hunger. I see the hunger that you have to, to get more knowledge of me and to get more knowledge uh, or to get more um, more more intimacy intimacy with me and i just see how god is connecting with you how he's connecting uh with you how you're like sitting in this room and how you're like soaking in god's pressure presence and then i see how i, I just hear how god how this humming noise it's like this loud very loud humming noise is like in this air and while it while it's in the air, I see how God is like connecting you and how you align He's aligning your frequency that you're getting on the same frequency of God. God is coming as well. He's taking up the patches from your eyes. He's taking the plugs from your ears so that you can have a clear seeing of God and clear hearing of God, hearing when God whispers to you and we hearing when God speaks to you and seeing the visions that God has got in store for you so that you can have clear communication of God and that's nothing in your way hindering you from hearing God or seeing what God has got in store for you. God loves you. Be blessed. Hi Asha, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of you hitting the target. You've got a bow and arrow and you hit the target. Uh, long distances you are very very accurate and the Lord says well done uh, it's a lot of things that you're accurate in your life with meaning uh, when you miss the target it's when you sin but when you hit the target it's when you understand what you are supposed to do but now the Lord says it's the time for to move a step further now I see the Lord blindfold you and still expect you to hit into the target so even if you don't see the future the Lord is still expecting you to make the right decisions and you at first you're like overwhelmed and say, Lord, how is that possible? But the Lord says, my spirit is in you. You need to trust. So it's a, it's a new level of trust that you're going to enter into with the Lord. But you're still going to hit the target. So don't focus on sin. Don't focus if, you've make, if you made a mistake. Just focus on this is the process that the Lord is helping you so that you can become more and more accurate in your life. Be blessed, Asher. Right, the next word is for Jay William. Um, Jay, the Lord, he says, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Um, we all know the verse that says, be still and know that I am God. Um, you need to focus on the power of the Lord. In Ephesians 3 verse 19 to 20, it says that, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Now to him who is able, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask him to do through his power inside of you. He is able to do this for you. You just keep on trusting the Lord and pushing into him and he will do this for you for you and then I see finances I don't know if you need finances for for studies or finances for a new business or finances for a new house or something but God is going to give you this he's going to supply the finances to you you all you need to do is be still and trust in the Lord go sit in that seat of rest go sit in that seat of rest where you trust the Lord where you just go according to obedience to his word obedience to his word and obedience to where you need to move next be blessed Okay, awesome, Jay. Uh, the hand of the Lord is upon your life, and I saw how the Lord really heals your heart and your physical body also, and He bring uh, He helps you to deal with impurities uh, inside of you uh, and to just be strong and healthy uh, before the Lord. Uh, so that's the first thing that the Lord is showing to me, and then the second thing that the Lord is showing to me is uh, that He is going to give you a breakthrough in your life. As that you will laugh, you'll have fun, you'll have joy, and you'll wear the crown of rejoicing upon your, uh, the Lord. The Lord is going to bless you with your finances, and He is going to make a way. He is going to open up doors for, uh, for you. And so where you thought, okay, now this is my last chance. The Lord says, you're not busy with your last chance. There's still many, many opportunities that the Lord is going to open up for you in your life. Thank you very much, Jay. God bless you. Thank you, Jay, and thank you, family. Uh, we ministered uh, to 10 people right now. And, and I always want to tell you, we really love and appreciate you. And uh, please write a comment for, for us. Um, it was so uh, encouraging to receive a, a word of encouragement also from you. You know, we take this time to minister to, to different people and uh, just uh, speak to them out of our hearts what we feel the Holy Spirit is uh, giving to us. Uh, but it also really blesses us and builds us up. 
when you write in the feedback what God is actually doing in your life. And, you know, it's good to see that because then, you know, okay, we're putting out, uh, out uh, this energy and this uh, hours to minister to people. And at least we can see the fruit uh, of our labor. And that's a wonderful thing for us. So please write a comment. Uh, I also want to encourage you. We're going to be live on Friday evening at quarter to eight and then also Monday at seven o'clock South African time so you can come early we usually minister to 20 or sometimes 30 people and so um, uh, you have to come early so you can write your name in the comments and usually about the first uh, 30 people or so and write their names in the comments those are the people that we minister to you want to kind of choose this a little bit he doesn't always just use the first 30 but that's more or less how it works out um, uh, God is very good and he, he uh, is using this ministry in such a wonderful way. I, I received so many, many uh, good comments of how the word of the Lord is impacting people. And so uh, uh, the Lord gave me instruction that we have to minister to people. And I'm excited to continue to do this. Um, I also want to ask you, please uh, pray for us uh, and uh, um, you know, just support us in any way you can. Uh, if you are new, please hit that uh, like and subscribe and that bell notification button also. Uh, so I look forward to, to see all of you. And I just want to say thank you uh, to all of the ones that are regulars, that are regularly here, that are always commenting and always praying for me and, and supporting me. It means uh, so much uh, to me, you know, this whole uh, idea that the Lord uh, gave me and said to me, you know, I want you to build this unity with heaven ministry. Uh, you know, I, I don't understand where this is going, how it's going to happen. Uh, but the Holy Spirit is so good to me and I, and I can really see uh, that we're growing and we're reaching more people and that there's really an anointing on what God is doing. And so I praise the Lord for that. Hey, right, guys, thank you. Uh, we will be back again. Uh, see you tomorrow. God bless you.